I thought would be nice to draw some uh, house plants. They have organic parts that like curvy parts, such as their um, drawing house plants, and they each have their own little personality. Maybe just like the real one. So uh, yeah. Anyways, with no further ado, is that how you say it? Anyways, let's get started drawing this. Um, so this is a really nice picture Ginger took of one of her plants. It's uh, in our kitchen. It's a cute little guy. I don't. Uh, I think maybe a pothos. Um, so yeah, I'm looking at the picture of it and uh, looking for the biggest, easiest line to draw. It looks to me like maybe that line of the table that goes horizontal, something like that. Um, you know, I'll have to erase the middle of it to make room for the cup. But I think that having a nice straight line like that um, kind of will stabilize our picture and give me something to measure off of. So I think I'm going to start with that. And now the oval of the top of the cup, um, I'm just going to approximate. And actually, that was a pretty good first go there. So I'm going to stay with that and then bring the sides of this tiny cup pot down. So like, and now how tall is it? I guess I could measure just with the picture here. And if I put the tops together, let's see, if that's my, I can actually line up the, the line. like that um, yeah my cup's sitting a little bit further down it looks like so that's okay and here's the bottom of the cup all right now they have the cup part now I'm gonna draw that uh, outline of the plant so sometimes instead of trying to get that leaf instead of drawing the a heart shape there. Um, I want to try to match the shape of the actual leaf, which is not quite a heart shape. It's a kind of a squished heart shape. And in order to do that correctly, I'm going to focus on what's going to be this triangle right here. Do you see the triangle between the leaf and the table? This triangle. So if I look at the picture, that's a quite a different shape. So. I'm going to try to draw that shape that I see, which is more of a maybe like that shape. Isn't that nice? And then the same thing on top of the cup. Um, first, I'll see where on this circle um, the uh, where on the circle the stem comes down. It's not straight in the middle. If you look, it's a little bit to the left. So every plant, if you just if you have a house house plant in your house, um, every plant's going to be co totally different. How it's sitting in the pot, kind of its personality. Is it a rigid straight plant or is it a curvy fun plant? Um, you know, I didn't really pay too much attention to the house plants Ginger was putting around the house until I started drawing. I was like, wow, what a what a wonderful source of inspiration. All right. Um, so now I'm going to focus on that kind of shape above the pot here, so something like that. And oops. And then same with uh, this side. I'm actually going to look for that shape here that's in the wall. So something like something like that. And then it goes up like that. All right. Now the top of the big leaf there, I don't know if you could call it a big leaf, it's kind of a cute little guy. Something like that, and then it goes, swoops this way, and then down, and then in. Sometimes when you're, tr when you're trying to get a shape, it's easier, especially a curved shape, though this leaf is more curved. I'm using kind of straight lines to measure the areas, and I can always kind of smooth that line out um, later. 
that's I think that straight lines are a little bit easier to uh, to measure and to control. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty good. I think looking at it, I think my pot is a little bit too maybe too wide. Oh, just by a hair. Something like that might be better. Actually, I'm going to erase that line going through the middle of the pot. That'll give us the 3D um, effect a little bit more. There we go. There, that's. I think that's a pretty good shape of it. Now, to kind of color in the color in the sections, um, I think I'm going to stick with just pen. So you at home can follow along with your pen if you'd like, or pencil. Um, or um, you could use crayons or whatever you have if lying around is fine. Looks like my leaf kind of overlaps the side of this, and that's okay. Um, so yeah, I'm going to use this pen. Now to color in something like this pot, I want to be mindful of which direction my um, lines are going. Because if I just kind of scribble it in like that, it's going to flatten out the image. And for me today, I um, I want to give this this picture of this plant a good 3D look, like the um, like it is in real life. So there's two things I could do. I could try to follow the shape of the cup like this. So I'm coloring it in kind of with curves, and that helps make it look like a nice circle cup. Um, I could, looking at the shape of the actual cup, it seems to be s slightly squared at the bottom, but maybe just that's just because of the reflection and the way that it's um, dirty. But in that case, I could have like something like this, and then curves here, and maybe like going up here, something like that. But I liked how that first look was. So I'm just going to keep making kind of this circle, a rounded off line going back and forth. Um, don't have to be too careful about getting it all the lines, you know, the same distance apart. Just just going for an effect here. Um, yeah. Now, if I look at my picture, it's a little bit darker uh, around the rim, so I'm going to go a little darker on the rim, and it's a little darker on the left side. So instead of, you know, following this exactly left to right, I'm going to do the shadows at kind of a, a little bit downward angle, just to, so that the lines cross a little bit. And uh, yeah, then I'm actually going to follow the shadow that I see in the picture with these diagonal lines. And we'll see how that looks. I don't know, I'm kind of experimenting as I go, as you should too when you're drawing. You'll come up with your own kind of what they call visual language. So that's just the way that you personally draw certain shapes. So maybe I'm doing little lines, but maybe you do a different um, type of line. Maybe you have slightly longer uh, lines that you like to use, or maybe you have uh, kind of a thicker line that you like to use. Anyways, so that's decent. Just color it in just a little bit more. Not that, because it's a nice dark cup, I want it to look dark. Okay, now the inside. Um, I'm going to kind of go the opposite way on the top rim with the circles till a certain point, till I see like kind of where the dirt is. And then for the dirt, I'm actually going to do scribbles because dirt is kind of irregular and random shapes. I think that looks good. Um, I'm noticing that this, the cup is kind of rounded off on the corners. 
So that's what I'll do here. I'll just kind of round it off. Um, and then maybe use a eraser to yeah, give that cup a little bit more of a rounded look. And I'm going to have to erase part of my leaf to do this on this side. That's OK. You can always redraw it. Um, erase those like that. Sweet. Pretty happy with that so far. Oh, happy Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> I just remembered it's Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> so uh, now time to kind of touch up the stem a little bit. I'm going to, oops, not erase. I'm just going to do a little bit of darkness on the, the under half, especially this, this stem here. And then uh, whoop, give it a little loop. Now is where kind of the personality of the plant you have to uh, think about a little bit. So there's not much to this plant. That's why I chose it. It's a simple, quick, uh, quick draw. But if you look really closely, I don't know how. Let's see. If you look really closely, there's like a little heart of orange. It almost looks like a like a dead leaf or something, but it's a little tiny guy sitting on top of that branch. Now, I want to include that because uh, there's not much to this plant, so might as well catch the little details where I can. So I'm going to go ahead and make that small again. Okay. And get that little guy. So right here, and then there's a little tiny heart shape. <laughs> okay, I made it a little bit big, but that's okay. Um, now what I want to do is give some detail to that uh, leaf, the big one. So looking at the shadow detail, this kind of, there's a kind of shadow area there, almost a heart-shaped shadow area at the bottom, kind of shadowed here, and then there's a few lines going down the middle. But, um, but a lot of like reflection from the light and then I'm going to shade in very mindfully these areas and maybe maybe give a little bit of weight to those lines like that Oop. sometimes with this pet this uh digital pencil it goes to eraser when I don't need it to. I think I'm glad to I am lucky to have it. Alright, something like that. Just darkening up the areas of the leaf that I that look darker and keeping trying to keep light the areas that look lighter. Until it comes to a point where I'm like thinking that it's looks like a good leaf. Sweet. I like that shadow pattern. I actually prefer the, the shading on the leaf to what I did on the um, cup. That's okay. Um, I'm actually going to make the cup a little bit darker now by going the opposite diagonal that I did before. I'm going to do maybe three or four. Uh, maybe four rows of this going over from the left. Yeah, that's good. Um, that kind of, I think that kind of helps. Having a darker cup there. Yeah. Uh, getting some more shading on the rim. I think that's pretty solid. Um, I could definitely go on to the next plant. I could, I could, uh, I could definitely get get a lot more detail in that. Come on, now I can't do the eraser. There we go. I could get more detail in. Um, I could put in that table, but actually, I'm gonna erase that line that I started with, um, just so we have a plant kind of floating in space. Boom. So, let's move on to the next plant, huh? So a gallery, I'm going to do new screen size. All right. Now, 
you could follow for practice the ones that I'm doing and then when you're done with the video and on your free, ta free time you can uh, find a plant around your house it could be a house plant that you keep inside inside or even better you could go out and pick a weed or a, a flower from outside and bring it in or draw outside um, don't pick your neighbor's flowers though they might not like that but um, yeah it's nice to draw something in front of you that's so natural and so nice to have inside the house if you have some uh, bouquet of flowers for example it would, it would smell so good I, one of the first drawing videos I did was some flowers so oops this is more uh, more of viney plants all right this is a cool shape for too um, again I'm gonna start with the this one's very horizontal line There we go. And then I'm going to approximate the, I'm going to go with the sides of this uh, pot first. Then down the bottom and up like that. And then the bottom rim. I'm just I'm gonna kind of speed through this uh, the pot part because we already kind of went over how to construct that. But basically, you've got a circle on top. I mean, a flattened circle, an oval, and then you've got kind of um, a shape that mirrors the bottom part of the circle, and then you just connect it with two lines. You can make a simple pot that way. I'm going for more of the shape of this pot, which has a bit of a rim to it. Uh, like that. And then there's two, three lines. And then there's one other big line. Oops. Like that. Yeah. Now I'll get rid of that measurement line in the middle that looks like a great pot I'm pretty happy with that um, now for the plant again I'm gonna use the negative space I'll write that down negative space and this is actually if you're gonna learn one thing from drawing plants probably the best thing to learn is about negative space and especially with this picture is like I can see the shapes of white of the black of the white background um, I can see those and recognize them as shapes I can draw a little bit easier than the shapes of the actual plants because it's a little complicated with the leaves and the sticks and um, it gets a little messy but if I focus partially on the um, on the wall behind and drawing those shapes it should um, the plant should appear so that's what I'm going to do here. So um, first I'm going to do on top of the, uh, there's a shape on top of the uh, pot here. So I'm going to do that shape first. It comes like that. There's a little lip and it goes even further this way to about there. back around something like that okay I'm gonna leave that area like that I might look a little abstract but hopefully that locks in with whatever I do later okay now I'm gonna come off the, the left side of the rim here and do uh, this shape let's see something like like that and then there's kind of shape there like so there's, there's the shape of white. I'm just kind of outlining the white areas that I see. And there's one coming on the bottom of this leaf. But again, I'm not really looking at the leaf. I'm looking at the white, white area. And it's hard at first probably to trick your brain into to looking at the white area and not the leaf. 
Um, but with practice, you get better and better at it, just like with everything. Um, what's this? All right. Now I'm going to do, there's a tr little triangle right here. Little guy. And then near the triangle sorta is a, this tall shape just like that. Okay. And I'm gonna go back to that top leaf where I see it kind of going like maybe like a little bit to the left and then back down in an arc. Now we have that leaf on top pretty much figured out. Um, let's see what I can do about this leaf on the left. Looks like I might have went a little too high. I'm using short lines so that I can kind of control my line and uh, look back and forth between the pictures before I make any big decisions. There, something like that. Get it out of the line. Oops. All right. Um, all right, moving on. Uh, down from this stem here on the left, I'm going to look at the white shape again, which is kind of a and then the point of the leaf. Um, and then comes down. Uh, it gets a little messy in that area. That's okay. I'm gonna now. I'm actually gonna look at the leaf. So um, let's look at the leaf. Looks like I might have made it a little too wide. So I'm gonna cut that in right to there. And then erase that. Cool. Cool. Now finish that leaf up. Get the. <laughs> I hear Olive singing in the other room. Get that. Uh, this kind of area figured out. All right. And then I would love to see, I, I've seen a few students send pictures, uh, uh, different ways to get them to me, email. You can email me at mrbone at mainsoul.com. You could email pictures that you've been drawing or you can email me questions or anything. Um, just cause yeah, I'd love to see your work too. I miss I miss the feedback of getting to help hands on and anyways, uh, let's go on to this down here. Um, I'm missing one leaf to the left, that actually, actually two leaves. This big one, this main event I would say of the picture, so. Let's do that one. Um, I'm looking at the table now to kind of give me insight to this shape. So I've got almost a vase shape on the table. See that? Kind of reminds me of a vase. And then this beautiful leaf kind of curls back around. So I'm gonna start at the top of the leaf and then follow it in one, try to do it in one line. It's messed up the bottom. like that yeah that might be a little too wide gonna try it one more time let's see yeah I like that better okay now finishing up here we got there's a little bit of a um, stem mess right here so I'm just gonna approximate some kind of straight lines and then there is this last leaf, which again, I'm gonna look at the wall shape, which I get this kind of, this one actually looks like more of a perfect heart shape. And then it kind of comes down. And I, I lose the edge. Um, 
out of the frame, but I can kind of imagine where it's where it's going. Now I'll erase that. Erase the lines inside. Do 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 inside to all the leaves. That should help. All right. Oops. Get rid of that. All right. So that's looking great. Um, I think the next step. I think that's a great sketch. Now the next step would be to um, add our shading. So just like the last one, I'm going to have this one kind of floating. So I'm actually going to get rid of the table. Though it was very helpful to have that line, as you saw, as a uh, kind of measurement tool to uh, judge drawing everything else off of. But now I can kind of focus on the plant by itself. Um, so I'm going to look at the stems. I'm going to focus on the stems. So this leaf on the left side hitting the the uh, pot, there's a stem that kind of comes down like that. Actually, it's a little bit like that. Um, along this, to the left of that, there's a stem that doesn't go all the way up. It's a lightly colored stem, so I'll be sure to touch lightly. And then the same thing with the one under it. It's the stem that I see doesn't kind of the line ends around here. Um, this one on the left, the line is strong and goes all the way down. Um, I already did the one at the top, but this very top one, there's kind of two lines I see like that. Huh? Well, it's the same kind of with this left one. Um, what I like about this, the leaves are there's some bright, bright yellow green ones and then there's the darker colors uh, behind it so i want to keep that in my mind and sort of reflect that somehow with how i shade this <clears throat> the first thing i'm going to do is do the easier part which is the oops the pot um so i'm going to do the dirt by just again um crumbling around one squiggle for the whole Dirt. Yeah. All right. Now I'm going to again do this uh, shape. Oops. Why? Oh, there we go. Do this shape to shade. So just continuing that. Oh, but then I run into a problem because there's some horizontal lines I want in, I want to see. So I'm actually going to beep, 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 change plans and kind of get, do this shape instead. So with this shape, I can actually still get the curve I want. I just have to go str straight up and down while I'm in front and then when I get to the sides they those lines start to curve slightly like that mm -hmm. I'm gonna do the same thing for the in between each line these are slightly curving to the left those are straight up and down and then these are slightly curving to the right same thing for the middle line curving to the left a little bit like the letter C and then these little lines in the middle are like the letter I. And then they become kind of a backward C on the right side. And I'm going to, this, if I do that same thing in the middle, it'll make it look a little bit bulbous, um, which I don't really want to do. So I'm actually going to do the opposite now. Now I've got kind of a backward C that's straightening out into a straight line. Straight line, straight line. Now I'm going to start to mold into a slight curve like the letter C. Nothing extreme though. All right, and then one last one. This I'm going to do more of the letter L. Letter L, letter L, and then it's going to straighten out again into a straight line for 
view, and then it's going to go to a letter, almost like a letter J. Cool. I've never done a pot like that. I think that looks really cool. So um, I'm going to let myself do horizontal lines inside the rim. Yeah, that looks fun. Cool. I think that's pretty good for the pot. Maybe a little bit of diagonal lines following those same patterns. Oops. Um, following that same pattern where it goes straight in the middle and then curves upward just to give a little bit of shading to these guys um, on the bottom. Very bottom, a little bit of shading. Just smaller lines. That's what gives the effect. And then maybe under each of these Let's do a really teeny, teeny, teeny dot. Sometimes it's these little shaded areas that give your, um, just make your picture shine. So there we go. All right. That looks pretty good. Now let's finish it up with some details in the, uh, in the leaves. Um, this area is bugging me. Uh, I need to, oops. Let's do, oops. Do a smaller eraser and I just want to clean up this top rim. Now I can do the, okay, let's start with this leaf. Um, it looks, compared to all the other leaves, it's, it's dark, especially the right side. So I'm going to follow the pattern of the leaf, which kind of uh, goes out from the top, and I'm just going to do small lines, starting to curve down and keep them kind of close together, and that'll make it dark. Um, now the other side does the same pattern, but they're, but it's much lighter. So I'm going to just do the same thing, but keep the lines further apart. So yeah, that looks good. And then, um, I'm going to just keep that motif through the whole thing. So this next leaf is about the same darkness as the leaf I just did. So semi, semi far apart lines for the shading. Oops. All right, and then uh, this one's cool. At the bottom, there's it's pressed against the uh, pot, so I can do a darker area and a lighter area on the same leaf. And the next darkest leaf is the far left one, so I'm just going to do that. I like to work, you know, either lightest to darkest or darkest to lightest, but that way I don't have to keep judging my strokes. So let's see, I'm just going to one, two, three. I think I'm going to leave these brightest ones pretty much white. Uh, let's look at maybe this top corner here. And maybe a little bit along that bottom edge where there's a shadow. Yeah, that looks good. All right, I think that's a pretty pretty awesome drawing of a pot. Um, I'm going to just darken up the pot a little bit. Oops. Uh, erase it again. Darken up the pot. Oh, what the heck? Mm, nah, I don't like it. I'm gonna 
so we click that back. Good thing about working digitally is I can do this and undo my mistakes. Can't always do that. I'm just gonna leave it. So there's a house plant. I think this is a pothos. House plant number two. So I'm gonna go on to, it looks like I have time for one more. Why not? Um, so here is one more. Let's see what kind of plant I loaded up. Ah, oh, an easy one. So I'm going to get myself out of the way a little bit and make this a little bigger. And I'm also going to turn this this way. So if you have your piece of paper, it's nice to have the... Uh, the format or you know it's nice to have it up and down when you're working with something tall and side to side when you're working with something wide now with this style that i'm doing kind of floating in the middle it doesn't matter too much but this will help me measure at least so let's look at this plant it's uh the pot is different and uh Actually, it seems like the most fun part about it is that maybe those little sprouts coming out and then it's just one big leaf shooting up. So uh, this should be pretty simple. Um, instead of a straight line, this time I have kind of an angle um, for the uh, what the pot is sitting on. Something like that. So now I'm going to use that angle cut to kind of help me draw the circle of the or the oval of the pot. See how, see how much searching my line is doing? It's not confident at all um, because I'm kind of judging and looking and like, oh no, I'm wrong. So I want to make sure that this first shape is decent. Okay, now I'll come down. Uh, I want to make that cleaner. Something like that. And then it kind of, it's, it's like s a plate sort of that the pot is sitting on. What do you call that? A, a drain plate? Um, and then it comes up at an angle. It's sort of a pot that's a bit more large at the top then at the bottom um, and somewhere around here is the rim so it goes and then comes around now you gotta be careful this shape of a lid is kind of interesting because it has a rim let me clean this up so I can oops come on come on now Because it has a rim, it's kind of tricky to see where those lines lead. Um, it's not quite just a circle like I have it drawn here. Um, there's a couple of little tricky things about l rims of these kind of pots, at least. Um, so if I have my oval on top, let me go ahead and erase all this other stuff in here just to make it clear. Okay, so I have this oval on top. And then, so the rim comes down in the front and then the opening um, where you see the dirt the line where you see the dirt is here but it doesn't come all the way to the edge like that um, it actually comes to a point maybe here and on this side uh, this side actually is more rounded somewhere like that and I'm gonna ignore the plant for now but this shape comes in and completes like that so yeah that's a little bit tricky but then also it's uh, now we have a like an oval within an oval but now the top rim connects with the side of this oval this is the tricky part like this because it's kind of a sharp rim at the top so it's like an oval in an oval so that's 
it's a little tricky to get that if you see um, we've got one oval two oval but then this top oval connects with that oval on the side into this third oval and uh, yeah it's an interesting shape um, oh, there's a white line on the like this I'm going to do the shading slightly different on this one. I'm just going to do all straight lines going um, one direction. All right. Now uh, let's get that plant in, which I think is going to require me to shrink this drawing down because um, it's a tall plant. draw let me draw okay and now I'm going to go ahead and draw the shapes just like I did last time the shape of the wall so here's this line um, of the corner of the built of the room and that shape comes down against the against the uh, plant like that but actually a little bit too far left with that line so I'm gonna go right here there we go and then this shape sort of a knife like that and then this shape which it will just carry that stem down um, that goes up and we got one big swoop all the way up and um, actually, let's do the right swoop first. Feeling this line like that. Something like that. I need to move this whole thing down a hair. There we go. So that I can get that cute little point at the top. There we go. Yeah, that's uh, decent. I might have shrunk it a little bit, but that's okay. Get rid of my measurement line there. It's almost like, um, I think of it like scaffolding or something like that. Like when you're building a building, you have to put up other structures around it so that the workers can work on, and then you take down those structures when you're done. That's sort of what um, what it's like drawing, drawing lines and then erasing them, but ju you're just drawing them for measurement. Um, now I'm kind of drawing the outlines of this this dark and light pattern uh, that appears on oops on the the plant. Um, it starts to get a little bit so they're little harder lines at the top, but then it's as you see it kind of breaks up a little bit. So I'm going to try to emulate that shape. There's more of a hard line here. Uh, I gotta make sure that I follow this correct shape all the way down. All right, and then some little twigs at the bottom. <coughs> Let me actually erase that area so that I can clean it up. That and then there's one big new plant here, and then there's oh, maybe it's a little bit bigger, and then there's one other little one here. Let me fix that side. Now, same thing, I'm gonna kind of scribble in all the dirt, a little pile of it there. Squirrel, 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 squiggle, 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 squiggle,
arabesque. Arabesque is this shape, like an S. So actually this arabesque does like more of a, which is a beautiful shape um, that's found in nature all over the place and also in ballet. It's, it's a different, it's a move in ballet. Your position there, whatever you call it. <clears throat> cool, I think that's pretty good. Um, for this, this is a quick and easy plant. I'm gonna get rid of my lines at the bottom and kind of do a once over to see if it needs anything. Um, looks like maybe the the edges of the rim they do stick out a little bit more than I drew them so that's what I'm gonna fix um, you don't have to settle if you don't want if if you're uh, if you want to get better at art sometimes it's about fixing your mistakes so you get it right um, whether that's doing the whole picture over again or just erasing um, and knowing how to work with your medium for example, you can't really erase pen, um, but you can do other things like, for instance, if, uh, you know, uh, if I had a, you know, my, there was a big weird bump on the edge of my pot here. If I had pen, I couldn't erase, but I can do something like this and just maybe kind of like fill that area in and then cover that area up with black and then you know just to make it work you can just maybe make a make it look like you were trying to do a shadow or something here so I don't know something like that so even though and maybe you, you would do another one down here just just to make it look purposeful so yeah just because you uh, a weird mistake doesn't mean with pen that you can't fix it but you can't um, you know pretty much even erase it so it may seem like you can't erase with uh, pen but oh yeah it's possible you could be clever sometimes drawings about being kind of clever with how you how you draw things. All right, I think I fixed the rim up pretty good. Um, now I'm, I'm just gonna, with the last couple of minutes here, just add a little bit of more um, intense shadows where I see them. So at the bottom maybe, uh, also this bottom line is kind of messy. Again, I could do this all day. I could darken up these guys here and even darken up the stem but I might as well darken up the whole plant so I've divided the areas of dark and light so I'm just gonna copy them as I see them like that gonna go through with bigger lines there we go I think that more accurately represents it um, yeah what do you think um, go ahead and find a plant around your house sometime soon and, and draw it and paint it even better um, I don't think I can I don't know if I can show you real quick um, no I didn't take a picture yet um, I'll show you next on Thursday where my plant painting I've been working on one for a few days now outside uh, oil painting of a potted plant that I'm really enjoying uh, but yeah there's plant number three let's uh, watch the speed video of it okay speed drawing 
I just think these are fun to watch. Um, see if you, uh, so now I've got three plant drawings to add to the collection. I maybe I'll print this out and and see if Olive wants to color it. That's what I've been doing with some of the other ones since she enjoys it. Um, oh, now that I'm looking at it, I forgot two lines down at the bottom. Two very small lines. Oops. So there's just just decoration on the pot, but again, sometimes it's the little things. Oh, maybe not that close either. There we go. Uh, that oops, the second one was a little bit too. Curved. What this type of curve? It's very tricky. There we go. That's fine. Um, also, I want to do a little bit of shadow on the right side of the pot. Yeah. Oops. Uh, let's go over here. Yeah. All right, and that's that. So I hope you learned something about drawing today. Um, yeah, please share if you end up drawing a plant, and uh, I'll see you on Thursday for another drawing video. Uh, take care.